So, all right, guys. Good evening and welcome to the second edition of my Instagram Masterclass. Now, I know that we have about 15 people that are ready to start for this uh, Masterclass. If you are not stunning enough for this class at this time, you're going to miss a lot because there's no way that there's no way that you're going to miss this class and expect the teacher to bring you the same level of knowledge for her. Hi, um, hi Vera, you're welcome to my master class. Now, I've always wanted to help a lot of people. I've always wanted to help a lot of people, a lot of businesses, because most of the knowledge I got today, I got it for free. Even some, I had to pay for it. And most people will tell me, how do you mean you got it for free? I mean, I attended classes, I attended um, seminars, I attended programs that had a lot to do with my business. Hello, hi. You can turn down your audio so that you can hear me more. Okay, so like I was saying, the, the title of this course is Instagram Market Masterclass. And all you need to know is that how do you post, what do you post, when do you post, and why do you post? You know, a lot of people have been asking me, why is it that um, I post a content on my page, I get 10 likes, and I have over 100 followers. Now, most people will be wondering, it's that... Um, we're wondering, it's so it's it's sad for business because people were thinking I bought followers. Now, one thing I'll tell you is, first of all, you don't need to worry about likes or comments. Your biggest worry should be who is buying from you? Why are they not buying from me? Why are people ignoring my products and services? Not just how many likes you get. If you're posting pictures because you want people to like if you are posting pictures because you want your friends to like your picture, you should you should start posting pictures. Maybe you should open a personal page and post fine pictures. But if you are in business, you should limit your emotions. You should limit emotions in business. If you want to succeed in business, you have to limit your emotions. Nobody cares about what you post. All they care about does this post Will this post, this product or service, will it help my business? Will it help me? I'm having a bad day. If I go on a boat cruise, will I feel better? This is why people, this is why people will buy from you. It's not about what you post. It's about how many people see what you post. And the right customers don't like pictures. The, like, the right customers don't comment on pictures. What they do is they call. You understand? They just, when they see a product they like, all they do is they pick your phone call. They pick their, their phone and call and say, oh, I didn't know you do this. I didn't know you, I didn't know this is your the type of service you're doing. You get. So they, they once they, once, once you have what the customer is looking for, they don't care. The customers don't care. They don't care how many followers you like you have. What they care about is what type of products you are offering. Are you the best in the market? You understand? Well, the product you are offering will it solve my problem? Will will it make me better? If I buy a hair from you, will I look better? If I go to your makeup shop or call you for makeup, will you make my face better? This is why people buy. Nobody cares about, they don't care about liking your pictures. You get, it, it, most times, well, when I started Instagram, I was, I was always angry when people don't like my pictures. But when I got into business, I... <music> to like
like your or comment on your on what you are selling for them to buy from you. That's a lie because ninety percent of people who comment on your on your post don't really like you. What they are looking for is what are you doing? Vera sells food. If people, if somebody is hungry and they don't have to like Vera's post on Instagram for them to call her to cook for them. You understand? That is why most times Instagram is not a place where if it's Facebook, your friends, your old friends, if you post a new picture, your old friends, your classmates back there will say, ah, uh, where have you been? I'm uh, a nice picture. You're doing well. But for Instagram, nobody fucking cares who is doing this. Nobody, they don't, they don't have to be your friend. They don't have to be your friend to do business with you. You get. So I want to read through some of the things I've written here. Now, you can't solve your problem until you understand the history of your problem. You understand? You, you, if, you're, if you're worried about how many, um, why your business is not growing, you need to know why actually your business is not growing. You, you don't need to keep worrying about something that you know nothing about. Most times, the reason why somebody, hello? The reason why somebody is going to buy from you is because they know that you have mastered this problem and you can solve it faster than every other person. You understand? There are a lot of people selling hair on Instagram. There are a lot of people doing things on Instagram. And if you are not the best, you will not succeed on Instagram. If you are not the best already in the business, you will not succeed. A lot of people are looking for products and services. If you are the best, that is where you succeed. And one of the things that will make you succeed faster on Instagram is if you are one of the first people to start something. Are you the one of the first people that started selling hair? Are you one of the first people that started doing any selling any type of product? This is why you are going to succeed faster. Because if you check the likes of this one Nick and the rest of them, they have over 500 followers. Why? Because they, they started early. They started early. You understand? And you don't have to be an Instagram guru. You don't have to, you don't have to be the best. There's no school for any to learn Instagram the right way. Just do it the way it works for you. You understand? If the way I do my business, you copy it. It might not work for your own business. Do you understand? Okay. So now another thing is, are you speaking the language of the customers? Are you speaking the language of the customer? Because the customer has a language. They will only, they will only communicate better with you if you are speaking the language of the customer. Most times I get people who, who chat me up and they tell me, bro, I want book apartment. And I'm like, when I start speaking English, they don't open up to me. They don't trust me. But when I start speaking pidgin with them, they begin to trust me. So you and the customer need to speak the same language. You need to communicate. If somebody is speaking, if somebody is speaking pidgin, and you are speaking English, hello. If you want to talk, just wait. When I'm done, you can. There is a. We are all going to have to study each other's business and learn from each other. So just give me time to finish. You can you can mute your speakers too. Now, like I was saying, I said, do you speak my language? You understand? I will only trust you if you speak my language. That, that, that this is why when you go to maybe a lab to buy something, maybe an electronics or anything, you meet an Igbo guy. If you are speaking Yoruba, the guy is bound to rip you off. But if you are speaking Igbo, he opens up to you and tell you, bros, now the price with this, so you be my brother now, I know if he cheats you. But if you are speaking Yoruba, or maybe Aosa, the guy will tell you times two of the price because he believes that you two are not speaking the same language. So it all boils down to the 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 the, pros, the reason why you speak a customer's language is because of rapport, so that the two of you can have a 
a means of communication that bonds. Do you understand? So now people are looking for you on Instagram. But the problem is, are you selling the solution to the problems they are looking for solutions for? Somebody wants to solve the problem of maybe fast delivery and you are selling, if you are not selling what they are looking for, you will not be lucky. You understand? A lot of businesses can thrive on Instagram if you can, if you can sell the problem.